This week we're staying at Pikachu Peak State Park. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. If I'm not, I'm sure you guys will correct me in the comments below. But it's about 40 miles north of Tucson. It's out here in the uh, Sawaran Desert. And there's two mountain peaks right here that make up the park. When we get back, we'll show you our campsite. Welcome back to Zephyr Travels. I'm Randy and this is Diane. And we're just sitting outside relaxing in the nice very, Arizona sun. Yeah, very mild weather. Yeah, we are in Tucson, Arizona. We're actually about 40 miles north of Tucson at Pikachu State Park. And we've been here for the past week. It is a very nice park. I don't know how many campsites there are, but there are quite a few. The sites are quite large. And well spaced. Yes, and well spaced. You do have electric, no water, no sewer. And I there's no, really, there's no water in the park. Right. So you want to be sure that your tanks are full when you come into the park. And if you need extra water, you got to bring it in. Yes. Or you're going to have to go out and buy it, actually. We ended up having to buy water, which is the first right. time for that. Yeah, that's the first time for that. And if you do happen to run out of water, there are a couple gas stations pretty close by that you can purchase water. And it's not that expensive. Just want to make sure you're jugged. We got five gallons of water for $1.75, so it's not expensive at all. But right now, we're just sitting here enjoying the scenery. The park is surrounded by these mountains. But this is Pikachu um, Peak Mountain, and someone told us it looks like a guy screaming at the clouds or at the sky. Right. If you kind of look up at it, it kind of yeah. you kind of can see the outline of a face and somebody with its mouth open screaming. So yep. a little bit of imagination, and you can see it. Yeah. There's a, a lot of hiking trails through here. We kind of really didn't hike too many of the trails, but we did a lot of walking through the park. Um, we walked on a few of the trails a little bit. Yeah. yeah. We didn't really hike that. There's a trail, I think, that goes up to the top of the mountain right. um, that you can hike. We didn't do that. That's supposed to be very challenging. Mm -hmm. um, they say actually wear gloves because it's, there's a section there where you're going to have to hang on to a, a, a cable or, or a chain or something as you climb up. So it's, it's a very challenging hike. Right. And there's actually a hike around the mountain that you can take. Yeah, I guess there's, there is one that's relatively easy. That that one you're talking about is probably the most difficult. Hike. Yeah. You're kind of in between Tucson and Phoenix. Yeah, Phoenix is probably another 60 miles north. Tucson is 40 miles to the south. Right. So you're roughly almost in the middle. But it is highway driving, so it's not too bad. Yeah, and you're just a mile off the... There are some nice stores, your major stores, located pretty close by. There is an outlet's center close by yep we're at the tucson mall gonna go into the container store we need to find some storage bins and shoe racks for our airstream Be good for in the bathroom to stick on the wall, and you could put you know things in them. Well, we picked up a few things at the container store. We'll show you more about what we got when we get back to the truck. But a couple ideas didn't get everything we needed or thought of getting, but we got a few things and a couple things we didn't think of. So I guess it all works out. Um, we're going to more detail later. Now that we're back from the container store, what did we get? Okay, first we got a couple of soft-sided bas baskets, which you probably will use for, for a little bit of organization up here. And, you know, to keep them in place and stop them from scratching the aluminum up there. And we will show you more of that once we show you everything we bought. Then we decided we needed some more organization in the bathroom. So we got these little containers. 
which will stick right to the walls and uh, organize that area a little bit better. What else did we get? Oh, these are for the truck. You put them between your seat and the center council and they fill up that space so you don't have things going down there. Yeah, with all the traveling and driving in the truck we do, we tend to lose things every now and then down there. Right. And finally, we got these nifty expandable shelves. And Randy will show you and tell you exactly what he wants to do with those. In this cabinet, which is kind of over full, and so if I put a shelf in there, maybe I can organize a couple levels of things and get at it a little bit easier. First, we got to take all the tags off. Okay, but we won't bore you with that part. Right, we won't bore you with that. This is the way it looks now. It's a little crowded in the bathroom, so we may not be able to film how we're putting them up and figure out what goes in them, but we'll show you after we're done. All right, yeah. Okay, Randy, just finished putting the two plastic containers uh, up on the aluminum, and it takes quite a bit, or both of them, they take quite a bit off the counter, makes it look a lot neater, and uh, yeah, so I think they work out well. And they're very easy to install, just a couple, uh, you know, sticks or whatever of adhesive on the back. And they do come with the adhesive, so just make sure they're level and quick mounting. Very easy. The baskets we bought are soft-sided, which is what you would want to probably use in this overhead cabinet because of the shape of the cabinet. It, you know, it rounds with the air, the um, the style of the airstream. The curves. <laughs> the curves of the airstream. So, yep, we got two. We were a little concerned if they were too big, but they seem to fit nice. So now we'll go ahead and see how much fits in them. Here is the finished project. It looks somewhat better, a little more organized, and we did take a couple things out that. We really don't use a lot, so we didn't find them necessary to keep up there. But I think having these things in the baskets will, you know, stop them from sliding around when we are traveling and from marking up the cabinet itself. And we did visit, there is the ostrich ranch, which really you could walk or ride your bike to from this park. And we did visit there. We rode our bikes. Yeah, we rode our bikes on Sunday. We yeah, there. and we'll show you that video of uh, that trip there. It's really fun. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Today we're finally going to get the bikes out and take a ride and go to an ostrich park. I think it's Park Farm. Not too far away. So It's yeah. just outside the campground. Just outside the campground, so not a long ride. But we may find some other places to ride to after we finish that. Yeah, we can always ride around the campground. Yeah. So let's, let's go. go. Schwarzenegger has one. I know, he lets it in his house. Yeah. Where are we going to put it? Back of the truck. You can't have farm animals in the village. Uh.
songs. Yes. <laughs> Put a small amount of feed in the cup and then you crank it up.
much. We took quite a bit. to the Rooster Conburn Ostrich Ranch. <laughs> and it's right near where we are staying at the Pikachu State Park. It really is, I mean, it's fascinating. They not only have ostriches, they have deer, they have donkey, donkeys, right? Miniature Don donkeys. Miniature donkeys, um, goats, uh, birds, tortoises, stingrays. Bunnies. Oh, and bunnies. Bunnies were my favorite. Yep. They give you uh, food that you give the donkeys, the goats, the deer, and the ostriches. Yeah, I think the donkeys were my favorite. The ostriches were a little scary. They were kind of like aggressive when you had the food near them. They were like, dah, 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 dah. Uh, Oh, and the ducks. And the ducks. The ducks were kind of aggressive too. 
and then you can buy they give you coins actually to buy food for the bunnies and they give you uh, what else oh nectarine for the nectarine birds. for the birds and a piece of asparagus for the tortoises but the bunnies were my favorite and they have quite a few they're all different colors but they're so gentle when you give them the pieces of food and they're so cute when they eat bunnies were nice but they were kind of slow because they had to sit there and eat the piece of food and you know you had to wait they wouldn't take any more you know, they kind of had, had their own little pace the birds were birds kind of frightened you when they first they'd land right on you and you didn't realize what was going on they wanted the nectar and they weren't too bad but all in all it was a great visit a great time and well worth a visit if you're ever in this part of arizona but overall it was a lot of fun i you know highly suggest you if you're in this area and you're looking for something to do for a couple hours this is kind of fun it's 15 dollars for per person basically for the food and everything it's no discounts for age or anything but uh it was a lot of fun yeah and especially if you have children that's true a great place to bring your kids yeah tomorrow we head into phoenix and we will be in the area for the next month yep and we're going to try to find some things to do we're in five different campgrounds well, five, field, different five different. Camp. I checked that today. Five different Maricopa County campgrounds, and they're staggered kind of around the city of Phoenix. And so I think we're going to try to do find something with each of these parks that's nearby to do. Um, whether it's visiting a, a, a town, maybe taking a drive a little bit to some places nearby. But we're going to find some things unique around all of those. Plus, we'll show you the parks too. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. And what else should they do? Subscribe to our channel, Zephyr Travels. Leave us a comment if you've been to Tucson area. And what did you, where did you stay and what did you see while you were here? Right. Well, until the next time, guys. We'll see you down the road. Take care.